Hello YouTube viewers, this is Anupam Vipul here. Today I am going to show you some tips and tricks that will enhance your speed in 3ds Max unwrapping. So, uh, unwrapping is just uh, making 3D to 2D so you can paint it. That's the simple deal. But problem is it's quite complicated and quite, uh, to be frank it's very very annoying and most of you would agree with us and uh, first of all uh, for uh, unwrapping you should uh, always use a num colored number map not a uh, checkers map this one which people generally use reason being is this uh, this is a script written uh, graphics that's why you cannot tell like what is the pixel ratio and like you have no idea what the heck it is literally I mean like it's just there and like yep that's it. I mean, like, uh, you have no idea, like, uh, this is 10 pixel by 10 pixel. And you have no idea. And worst part, you cannot tell whether it's flipped or not. And uh, if you have a lot of element, trust me, like, this is, like, quite substantial. You can easily tell. But uh, if you go close and count, you will get a headache because, trust me, the monocolor idea is not very good. It's very contrasty, but uh, will get you confused most of the time. And, uh, yeah it's not very best way to do it, it uh, do it as a like you can see stretch like see this is stretch you can see uh, stretch in other maps also so this uh, why people use it because it's a by default in max that's why and uh, I'm uh, going to provide you with a solution for this you should use this map this is called this is called anything I am putting a link directly to it so you just go and enjoy this this is a colored map and you can see benefit of it right away if as soon as I apply it. See, um, I know what is upright in this, so I have a proper idea. Like in my texture page, uh, I have no big issue. I can just paint it. If I write four in my texture page, I will get four in here. I get right. If I write two or three, it's just going to come out. And uh, this uh, tank that I am building, it has like uh, ten thousand tries limitation. And for texture page, I have. Uh, 2K resolution. So here's the another benefit. Uh, the image that uh, I'm using it's 1K. Uh, so all I have to do is uh, make it tile two times by two times. So it makes it uh, 2K, and I can easily go zoom in and have an idea uh, what one pixel is. And if it, this is not sharp enough because of the filtering, uh, filtering does this trick to. Uh, make the image bit sharp and this is the primary objective you can zoom in and uh, actually analyze like okay this is sharp enough okay this is uh, not sharp enough and numbers you can actually count like if you have to um, so. see the number difference is much better than the checkers map like this 9 and this one like the dif this is not 9 actually it's 6 <laughs> so that's why the color also helps see 9 is always in the gray and uh, 6 is in this color so that are the benefits you can easily see the stretching and how bad it is sometimes you have to stretch uh, to fit some things and this will give you a better illusion like can you uh, walk away with it or not so just that fact and uh, very important feature of this is uh, orientation second feature is you can get a pixel uh, idea like how much pixel you are spending third is uh, it will give you a by default indication what is flipped and uh, many of you think like flipping is not a big issue actually it is if you are going to apply normal map in it the flipping will screw it up let's say uh, see the numbers yeah, no this is not a proper way see this like in this situation you cannot uh, use a checker map and say okay this is right uh, sometimes it does happen if you don't have reset x form on it so be aware of that fact and this map fix this issue very easily so as you can see in the checkers you won't able to tell that you have uh, that's why you should use this this was the first tip to use this color uh, checkered map I'm going to put the link in the description so don't worry about second you have to apply some shortcuts most of you already have done it uh, but either way I'm going to tell you this is one this is two this is three Th those threes are by default and select element yes you can apply shortcut to select element all you gotta do is go to customize customize user interface okay some issues going yeah okay leave at that and uh, unwrap uvw uh, the element is under tv that's why uh, very few people are able to find it it's tv element mode 
five. Yeah, I applied five because it's match with Reddit Poly. That's why. I mean, like this is simple. Apply it, save it, and while while you are saving it, always make sure it uh, overwrites the older one because otherwise, uh, if something goes into your system, let's say some new program you installed and somehow it resets, let's say ZBrush can do this, and uh, then you have to come back again and then uh, ask for the specific file. So always overwrite it. Unless you are hacking, it's it's always a good idea to overwrite. I'm just changing the options. That's why overwriting is a good option. And uh, uh, you should always apply a shortcut for uh, six things. These three are very important. By default, done. Select element will Im improve your skill uh, speed. And stitch selected and break vertex. Um, the point in stitch selection is that stitch selected is not like written stitch selected that's why many people like uh, for uh, and if you use uh, apply shortcut to stitch dialog okay where the heck is stitch yeah stitch dialog it will it will give you a dialog box like stitch vertex and all that which you don't want the stitch uh, the stitch and stitch selected are same it's uh, they saved some time to write uh, that's why uh, sometimes you might get confused like where the heck is stitch selected the stitch is itself is stitch selected <laughs> okay so don't go stitch dialog just go to stitch selected that's it and break is very easy to find you can uh, easily go break this even uh, says like vertices but it will also work in um, edge and all that so those are the six very important shortcuts that will help you to improve your speed and my uh, now biggest problem of the max is its default setting like um, as soon as you uh, come in it's al already like this and sometimes it's good but this map is uh, not this map and that's why you uh, might want to change this option Pro problem is it's by default so there are lots of options that you uh, might want to change like uh, use custom bitmap sizes uh, always on and it only is 256 by 256 let's say you already created a texture page and you want to put it here and like a live model it so uh, life change the unwrap see it's very bad so you have to disable it and it will fix up fix that 56 by 256 that's how it's it's done and uh, you can increase the resolution if you want uh, let's say uh, let's do this don't freak out if it does like this it's no big deal but don't do it because it slows down the system considerably and sometimes hangs okay there you go and as uh, as i have tiled it in this uh, map as you can see the tiling is by 2 by 2 so it's already tiled sometimes it does not come if you like directly go and pick texture directly from here so always do the map not pick texture as you can see like I can easily see the resolution on this page is exactly 2k it has some kind of offset okay let's I will figure it out but that's how you uh, you get an actual idea you can use custom bitmap I generally keep it off and uh, you can also do this tile bitmap this thing many of you might not want it so tile bitmap problem is uh, how to set it uh, in default all you have to do once you have configured all this you have to just go to options then save current setting as default do it two to three times because point being it uh, uh, max requires an admin uh, clearance for that so sometimes uh, it may require you to do it two or three times and then very important issue is this relax tool it's uh, I already saved it, it always comes as relax by edge angle and the value is uh, by default like 0.1 so um, I have rarely seen anybody doing that so I generally use relax by face angle and at amount of one because that speed of the process so how you save it set as default then go to options then save current setting as default that's it done and if it does not work try save as default then default uh, then apply then uh, do that because sometimes it uh, needs to write this memory into permanent hard disk that's why uh, it, you have to like uh, keep cycling set as default then apply then save current setting as default and it will save everything like uh, if you have disabled this so next time you will apply unwrap modifier it won't come activated 
so th those are my few tips and tricks to boost your speed uh, let me do a quick recap use a number map so you can see flip uh, orientation and pixel ratio second apply shortcuts that I already showed you and third is like uh, set defaults to exactly what you want so thank you guys if this video helped you in any manner uh, please click any ad in my video so thank you and if you have any suggestion uh, feel free to forward it to me and I will put it in this video thank you